Do external webcams still have a use today? I don't know, but stay tuned anyway. So sorry there hasn't been a great deal of activity recently, but there's been a lot going on, and the hassle of setting up cameras and lights for in here is quite a chore. But I've been changing things around, and so hopefully things will get a little bit easier from now on in. Today though, we're talking cameras. So as you can see, you're in a different position today. And I'm going to go through a few other bits and pieces that we've got ongoing. But first of all, this is a Logitech C270. It's been around for quite a while, and back in the good old days when HD was brand spanking new, this was top of the line. Now you can get them really quite cheap, especially on lightning deals, but it's a bit clunky. So let's fix that by getting it broken down and into a little case of its own. So the first thing to fix is this horrible little clunky thing on the side. It's what you used to use to hang it over the back of your laptop or over your monitor. But there's a great big pole in the middle here, and would it be accessible from this end? Oh no, it's over here. So first of all, let's get that out. Okay, so from here, you could build a mount that, was, that uses this part here, and you could use it that way. But that's not the purpose of this, and obviously that can't be over-engineered. So let's break it down some more. Now, when Logitech built this, they obviously didn't design it to be dismantled, so they've soldered on a pin here. That means I can't take that off and then pull this cable through. So what I actually need to do is cut the plastic out, take this cable out here. And there we have it. There's the PCB for everything on, here you have the camera, and there you got the microphone, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, let's print out a 3D case for it. So there we go. Now it has a GoPro mount on, so it'll go anywhere you like. It's an awful lot lighter, so it will stay put. And it has a focus ring that you can adjust. But what good is it? Well, remember that overhead shot that we just had? Well, that was filmed on one of these cameras. And remember the time lapse that you saw earlier? Most of that was filmed on one too. So I think that shows that these do have use in them yet. But what else is there? Well, this is a view from the top of my LG monitor. And this is a view from the top of my iMac. What do all these cameras have in common? Well, pretty much a lack of control. As I start moving around, what you should be seeing is lots of flickering and colour changing and everything else. And the reason for this is because everything is automated and the camera is trying to work out the best possible solution to see what's going on. But here I'm shooting on a GoPro and this has been locked down so that everything is manual. That means I have full control over pretty much everything. And since the focus isn't a problem anyway, you get a reasonable shot except for over here where there's fringing and all sorts of bleh. But at least it's not in wide frame. Hopefully the video isn't too bad and I can work on grading things properly in another video, once I've watched a few on the internet. So that's all I've got for today. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, then thumb it up. If not, thumb it down. Let me know why in the comments, or just say hi in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.